beauty dish. Today I am so excited to bring you a little swatchy swatchy and a quick look and a demo and a first impression of the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blushes. I have two of them. I have Mood Exposure and Radiant Magenta. This is Mood Exposure that I'm holding right here and that's what I have on my face right now. Um, you'll see me apply it in a little demo that I'm going to put in in a moment. But this is what it looks like. And if you haven't already heard, the ambient lighting blushes are Hourglass's new release for spring and what they did was create a blush that's fused with their now famous ambient lighting powders. And the ambient lighting powders are sort of finishing powders that create different effects on your face, kind of like a candlelight or a sun-kissed or, you know, that kind of luminous light effect, you know, with these various powders. So all the blushes are fused with different ones and you know they're different colors to create different blushy effects. So mood exposure and I have to read the exact words is a soft plum blush fused with mood light ambient lighting powder to brighten the complexion. And I just really like the plummy kind of dusty rose look of it and I've never used the mood the mood light ambient powder so this one was definitely one that I wanted to get my hands on. I also got the shade Radiant Magenta which is the first one that I was really really attracted to and just so you can see they come in a box like this and let me get the Radiant Magenta and gorgeous little compact. It's kind of it's not really, it's like a pale gold. It's like, it's, it's almost like a silvery gold, if, if that's even a thing. But there you go, that's Radiant Magenta. And the description of this one is golden fuchsia blush combined with radiant light for a summer glow. And I love the radiant light ambient powder. It's in the little, um, the, the trio palette that they put out for the holidays and I really like it. I'm wearing it today. I mostly dust it around here to sort of contour and brighten and just make my face glow and I love it. And I loved that bright magenta or fuchsia, I guess they call it, blush. So I was really excited about that and I have not tried this one on. These just came in the mail today. So let me swatch. I'm wiping my hands off. Keeping it clean. <laughs> let me swatch. Um, mood exposure for you, the plummy one. So, and you know, as I suspected, you're not going to get a lot out of the finger swatch. <laughs> that sounds kind of dirty. You're not going to get a lot out of that, but I'm wearing it and I'll, I'll show you me applying it up close. So, in fact, why don't I show you that right now? Okay guys, I've got mood exposure here and I'm going to apply it with my Eco Tools blush brush. And like I said, this is my first time using it. I've got quite a lot of pigment on the brush just from kind of patting it in gently a couple times. Looking good so far. <laughs> so yeah, it's, it's not doing anything funky, you know, that a normal blush wouldn't do, you know, not that it claim to, mm -hmm. it applies really evenly. I did not have to really blend out the edges or work very hard. Um, that's pretty much it. Maybe my, I don't know if my placement's a little too high, but that's really another topic, I guess. <laughs> okay, so when you just saw me do this side of my face, I had lowered the exposure on my camera because I thought I looked really pale and I didn't want I want the color to be as accurate as possible, but I think maybe it was a little too dark, so now I turn the exposure back up and I think I've got I've got it in a happy place. Let's hope so, but I'm going to, and I'll try to show you just how I pat it in. Just like that. I can see the pigment on my brush and whoop, let's get some more. I like how it applies. I really like the color. It's kind of it kind of reminds me of one of those adaptable blushes. It's like it's not pink and it's not peach and it looks very plummy. Like an, it actually it looks like dusty rose or a mauve in the pan. But on my face it just looks 
kind of naturally pretty. Okay, so there's the demo. Um, I did swatch the, what is this called? Their names are all confusing me. Radiant Magenta. You can see that a little better. And you can see the, or the, the difference between, you know, where the Radiant Ambient Powder is and where the Bright Fuchsia is. And here I am applying it. Okay, guys, now I'm going to try out Radiant Magenta for you. And here it is. Okay, this is my first time trying it, and I'm coming to you one day after filming the rest of this video. So I can tell you how mood exposure wore for me, and I had it on for about 10 hours yesterday. That was actually my makeup for the day, and I went out that night, and it wore beautifully. I didn't notice any actual signs of wear and tear. It didn't get blotchy. It didn't fade. I mean, essentially. And I do have dry skin, so I'll, I'll say that right there as a caveat, but I, I saw absolutely no real change. And I didn't touch anything up. Um, I don't even need to blot my skin in the winter. I'm so dry. Okay, so Radiant Magenta, back to where we were. There's definitely a nice kind of heat and pigmentation to this color. I mean, it's a very, very bright pink in the pan, fused with that uh, radiant light, which is the sort of bronzier ambient lighting powder. And I like it. Um, I think maybe with my kind of darker, taupey, cool-toned eyes, it's not ideal. But, you know, that's kind of my bad. <laughs> what I really should do is have, like, bronzy gold makeup and everything. This, to me, was going to be the color, or it will be the color that I wear all summer. This applies really the same as mood exposure. Um, I find that the edges just blur. Um, it's really kind of amazing how easy it is and you don't have to blend it or worry about any of that harshness. And I'm sure, you know, the brush you use comes into play, but still, I always use this brush when I do blush. Like really all the time. I just, I really like it. This is the same blush I used for the mood exposure. Sorry, I have a little speck there. Okay, so that's pretty good. That's not a ton of blush and it's, you know, fairly focused and concentrated on this one area of my cheeks. It has a really nice warm pink fuchsia glow. Sorry, there's a ambulance or a truck outside. But yeah, a really warm, really kind of bright, hot pink glow, but I think it's a great summer color. Trying to make this look even. I have the hardest time getting blush even on this side of my face. It's, it's like my skin or something. Anyway, okay, so there it is. And one other thing that I will point out um, really quick, the packaging is new for this uh, spring release from Hourglass. They used to have a more brown tone packaging and a different script. It's more of like an Art Nouveau sort of style. And I was reading on their website that they, you know, made a conscious effort to kind of revamp the brand logo and this is the result and I really do like it. Um, if you are interested in seeing more swatches, I just saw on YouTube Flower Bomb 31 Natalie swatched four of these colors. She has the two that I have plus two more and then Tara Babies has all of them and she swatches them and she even shows them to you next to the ambient lighting powder that each blush contains, which is really cool to watch. So I will put their links below in my description box if you want to learn even more and all there is to know about these products. But um, that's Radiant, ah, I keep forgetting the name, Radiant Magenta. And I'm loving it, so let me know what you think. I hope that seeing me actually applying this stuff was really helpful to you if you're deciding if you want to get your hands on some of these blushes or not. Um, some more background information, they cost $35 and you get 0.15 ounces of product. Um, the price, compared to the ambient lighting powders, which I believe are 58, the price didn't m make me cringe as bad as, as paying for those ambient lighting powders did. So, because a really great blush, I don't know, I feel like is worth it. To compare, a NARS blush is $30 for 0.16 ounces, so you get a gosh more product, 0.16 versus 0.15 here for 30 bucks versus 35. 
So it's kind of comparable, if you ask me. And, you know, the I don't really think it's a gimmick. I mean, you can see the ambient patterns fused with the color. It's a pretty cool idea. There's no other product like that that I know of on the market. There are six colors in all of these blushes, and they are currently available on the Hourglass website, but they're kind of going in and out of stock as they kind of keep replenishing the supply. And I got mine from Sephora because Sephora is officially selling these on February 21st, but they offered VIBs a chance to buy them until February 1st. Um, just if you're a VIB, you could get them on the website. And if you've been following my channel and or me on Instagram, you know that I am doing a January and February no buy and at least a makeup no buy and I have bought a couple of makeup things that's another story but when these little guys came along I I held out I thought I'll just wait until March I'll get them because I wanted to get them from Sephora not from Hourglass I like my VIB points but I could not wait and and then, well actually then they were available for VIBs early and I was like oh maybe maybe and then I kind of decided to wait and then I saw that a few colors were sold out already but the two colors that I knew I was gonna get were still available and so I did it it happened <laughs> and I'm really kind of glad I'm really excited I'm glad I could show you this little quick look and demo and I hope it helps make your decision easier if you have any other questions for me um, please do ask in the comments and thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful day.